Okay, so today's tomato review is going to be on this tomato right here. And this tomato is the Galapagos Island tomato, like a Persicon cheese mani variant minor. Or you could just say Salanum cheese mani, but it's spelt different than the cheese mani in a Lyco Persicon designation. So there's only two endemic species of a Galapagos Island tomatoes that are on the island. Supposedly there might be a third type, but it's very rare and there's really no information anywhere on the internet about it. But there is supposedly a third variety of uh, Galapagos Island tomato. So this is the minor version and the minor version is pretty much a like a Pimpinella folium tomato. It's very small. It's a current size tomato. Whereas the regular Galapagos Island tomato which is, I believe, Solanum Galapagoense. That variety of tomato is like the size of a cherry tomato, or a little bit smaller, actually. So the tomatoes that you buy online that say Galapagos Island tomato, they are not of a true descent. Those tomatoes have crossed somewhere during their process to get to you. They crossed over with a natural variety of tomato, and you have what... I would call a hybrid type of Galapagos Island tomato and you know that because of the seeds. The seeds that you get for the Galapagos Island tomato in the package look like regular tomato seeds. The seeds to the true descent of the Galapagos Island tomato, I'm talking about the regular one now, the seeds are very tiny and they don't look like tomato seeds. They're very tiny and are very small. They're actually quite difficult to save seeds for these varieties of tomatoes because the seeds are so small. The true variety of the tomato you're going to know simply by the seeds. You're also going to know by the growing behavior. Now this particular variety of tomato is the same thing. It's not going to make regular sized tomato seeds simply because it's just a very unique variety of tomato. It's very unique. I think this tomato variety actually grows in Ecuador as well. I, I could be wrong about that, but I think it might grow in Ecuador as well. It may have been introduced at one point, maybe hundreds upon hundreds of years ago. I, I'm, I may or may not be wrong. I might be thinking of Galapago Ansi, uh, or Capsaicin Galapago Ansi uh, pepper. I know that the pepper is on uh, Ecuador as well, but I, I, there's so many things right now that... It, it's a little confusing. So this is it right here. Give you a closer look at a couple of them. Some of them are still green. I had to pull them down because the plant is dying. It's the end of the year now. And so that's it. We're going to cut one open for you. Try to show you what the seeds look like. It's very difficult to film uh, this type of really close photography without a good setup to do macro photography basically I can't really uh, get that close with it so we're gonna cut this one in half if we can because they're these are quite ripe and they could be a little difficult to in order for you to actually see this I really got to get you down close for these because they're very small tomatoes and I want you to see how tiny those seeds are okay you don't realize how small that is that is not like a you could see my fingernail here to give you a perspective okay you can see how tiny these tomatoes are I mean these seeds are and the tomatoes they're both they're very small and here's a here's a regular size tomato Okay, now I'm zooming in, so it's going to look a lot bigger, but I can certainly assure you that is a very tiny tomato. Here's a couple more. Okay, and then of course I got all of these here. And they're not fully ripe. I'm going to let these ripen up a little more and then I'll squeeze them for seed. 
which I didn't get a whole lot off them because the plant did die early, but I do got cuttings from that plant that I'm growing in a greenhouse. I'm going to bring that in for the winter and hopefully get some more tomatoes out of it. So let's give it a go. I'll eat one little half of that tomato with the seeds. It's got a very interesting flavor. It doesn't quite taste like a Galapagos Island tomato, but it has like a wild type of tomato flavor. But at the same time, it tastes a little like tomato as well. I'm going to squeeze some of the seeds out for you on this plate so you can get an idea on how tiny these seeds are. You just don't know how small they are until you actually try to grow them. Let me get you in a little closer. Okay, that's how small those seeds are. Look at my finger compared to, you know, that. You know what I mean? Here's a regular tomato seed. Okay, that's a regular sized tomato seed. And you can see these seeds are very tiny. So this particular variety of tomato, it's very difficult to grow. I had a hard time propagating this tomato. If you're going to buy it and grow it, just keep it in mind that you're going to have a hard time getting them sprouted. But they will sprout eventually for you, and you will get tomatoes from it. But I did have a hard time with it. The taste was pretty interesting in flavor. It's very unique. Kind of tastes a little like Galapagos Island tomato, but it also had like a wild tomato type of flavor to it. And the skins were a little tough on it, probably because these have been sitting around. You know, you can see they're starting to dry up. You know, but i really been waiting till they turn yellow because I want viable seed. I will have to say, it's going to be a challenge for you to grow this. So I can't really elaborate on the sweet and tangy part because it's really too small of anything for me to really get a flavor. I barely could get the flavor of it just to tell you what it tastes like. But it's a fun tomato to grow nonetheless, and it's very rare. You can't get seed for this tomato anywhere online. All right, so... If you can, you're lucky. All right, so that was just a quick tomato review of the Galapagos Island minor version of the tomato. I believe it's like a Persicon cheese mani variant minor, or it could just be Solanum, Solanum cheese mani. But the cheese manis are spelt differently in either in both of those. So that's about it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.